Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's Yolanda's Blossoming. And we're back to Wednesday videos, y'all. It's a little after 12, and I'm just out and about today, me and Diamond. <laughs> she looks some kind of way today. Her head needs washing, y'all. She's going to wash it. <laughs> She's on a trip. She don't want to be on camera today, but I'm just um, riding around today doing different things. I'm going to go to Live Well Healthy MD to get my calcium vitamins. vitamins. I have to take those. So I have to wait on them to open back up from lunch at 1 o'clock. So I'm just killing some time. I'm just going to be riding around vlogging, stopping by Crow, Crow's. Lowe's, <laughs> Lowe's and Kroger today. Um, those are my two main stops. So I'll be checking in out with y'all later. All right, y'all. We're going to make a pit stop here at Cho Ba Ming Asian Market. Diamond loves Asian noodles and things like that. So we're going to stop in here and see what they have to offer. So, never been, but check back in just a minute. Okay, we're here at the Asian Market. And Diamond has found what she's looking for. <laughs> Hot chicken flavored black noodles. Spicy. So she's gonna moot bang these. Y'all. Yes, she is, because that was the deal. Stomach look a little rough today, but <laughs> for so far her heavy wash, but she agreed if I got her these noodles, I was gonna get them on Amazon, but we were able to find them here. So Korean black bean sauce. Yeah, that's what she wants. She's gonna boot bang these for y'all guys. I don't know if it'll be today. But it would be by the weekend because that was ideal. But it's a five pack for six. He said six ninety nine. I wasn't listening. Really, Diamond? Okay. Well, hold your noodles. All right. Okay, we're looking around. I'm not too much into really the Asian part. I, don't, I can't eat noodles and stuff. But oh no, we're fine. Thank you. She found what she's looking for. <laughs> What else do you like? I don't know what else. Um, okay, this is the seafood section, I guess. Squid. I don't like whole squid. I like the, the tentacle part. Maybe it's the tentacle part. Fried, of course. But I didn't come to do all this today. <laughs> Let me see this. Because I love fried calamari. What we call calamari. And I can't eat the whole squid. See, so the cars less than one gram. That may be it though. If I bought these and battered them and fried them, <laughs> that'd be a little tasty. I haven't do that in a while. But I'm um, not really <laughs> feeling that right now. So I'm gonna hold off on that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a taste for that. Silverfish. Hmm. Silkworm cooked. Look y'all. Oh. Silkworm. Ew y'all. Ooh. These are silkworms. Cooked. What are you supposed to do with these? Eat it. Not me. <laughs> okay. Um. I think I've had about enough. But I'm gonna keep walking around. This Philippine. What is Langanzina? Langa Langanzia. Na Langzia. I have no idea. These are some things I never heard of. Pot stickers with shrimp. That looks good. Seafood dumplings. Let me see. I bet they're carby because they're dumplings. <laughs> So it means there's like flour and balls in it. <laughs> yep, 27 grams. That's a no. <laughs> That's a no for me today. Because I've been dipping and dabbing and stuff I shouldn't have been dipping and dabbing in lately. <laughs> spring rolls. Spring rolls? You have the fried up? So I can't get all this stuff this um right here right now because I'm not going home now. I didn't come for all this. I didn't, I didn't even expect to come here. But that's the thing. Just do things off the whim. Sweet rice pancakes. That's different. That's Korean. Green tea flavor. Hmm. That's interesting. 
heard of it. You know, first thing I go to is carbs, carb factor. It's in Korean, I mean, uh, some language I can't understand. 28 grams, nope. This looks good. Sweet bean red one. Okay. It reminds me of those something. What? I don't know. All those dumping things you're looking at. Mm. There were a lot of interesting mochi. things, everyone. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was thinking of mochi. Oh, mochi ice cream. Diamond yeah. loves that. Remember when I wanted to get one? They got a strawberry one. Oh, boy. Dollars. Her favorite strawberry. I guess you want that. Yes. You're going to have to eat it when you get in the car. I will. Okay, that's your last item, little girl. We're going around these streets trying to spend money today. I already got something to get. Sweet bean red bun. Bean bun. Okay, she done caught two things that she likes. Let's see what's down here. This is a good way to kill time. I'm waiting on Livewell to open up for lunch at 1 o'clock, so it should be about 1. So we're heading down. You have different ice creams. Let's see what this is. Fish balls. <laughs> Baked fish cakes. Turmeric roots. Assorted fish cakes. Shrimp balls. Italian. That I mean five fish cakes. A salted seafood ball. Two sixty-nine. There are different kinds of seasoned fish balls, and there's octopus. Let me see. I'm curious now. Dried shrimp. Six car. I wonder how you cook this. I'll have to come back in here another time. Next yes. Time, you want to get some mochi ice cream for the house? That's what? $6.99? Mochi ice. She loves the mochi ice cream. There's creamy strawberry. Diamond's favorite is strawberry anything. Mm -hmm. True. She loves strawberry. They got green tea ice cream. Mm. Look at that. This is interesting. I like looking at new things. What is that? Durian Monthong. Look at this, y'all. It looks like it's a porcupine. It's <laughs> Frozen like, thingy. Some type of fruit. I sound like Diamond now. Her favorite thing. Everything's a thingy. <laughs> thingy. Okay. Plantains. Ooh. Ooh, we should get some plantains. If we could fry those up. Like you know what plantains I like at the. How about you, Grill? I get the sweet planting. Oh. I'm gonna pick up some of these, y'all. Okay. We gonna cook some. We gonna fry some. I'm gonna get. Maybe I will get three. That'd be a nice little treat tonight. I'm gonna slice them up. Okay, we're back. My camera's cut off on me, but we're in the frozen. Well, we left the frozen out. We're in the canned goods and bag things. There are a lot of interesting looking things in here. Black fungus. Dried black fungus. See, that's what it says, y'all. I have no idea. Keep you keep this. dropping your ice cream. <laughs> yeah. We'll hurry up before it starts to melt. There's mushrooms. I have no idea what you do with fungus. Uh, I guess there's a way that they cook it and prepare it. Those are all the different rices, spices, and seasonings. Sushi All different sushi sauces. Yeah, wasabi. I love that pink sushi sauce. I don't know what it's called. These are all the noodles. Other noodles. No, can't with the noodles. <laughs> carbs, carbs, carbs. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I didn't use it. I was never a big fan of noodles anyway. Like ramen noodles and diamond loaves, those Asian noodles. That's why she's going to bang those for y'all. These different sauces, sriracha. Different Asian sauces. You probably find the black bean sauces here, too. But when Diamond cooks those noodles for the mukbang, she, I'm going to taste them. Because I've always seen those, like different um, YouTube channels. So I want to at least try a little bit. Don't cut off on me again. Pick up those pockets, done. Turn Which them over. One? The cookies and cream. You now look at the sharpen. Sugar and carb content. Oh, gosh. 
48 grams of carbs, 26 grams of sugar. That's enough. That's the whole box. I can only taste one. <laughs> That's a lot. Yam, yam, double cream. Are those animal crackers? Okay, they got a lot of good stuff. Oh, they had the pop of candy like the pot rocks. Volcano, probably hot. Strawberry. 20 pouches. These are gummy candies. Y'all love candies like that. I don't like candies like that. I love Pop Rocks. I don't know. My candy is chocolate. <laughs> now, what are these? Crispy seaweed. Oh, that sounds pretty Ooh, good. I, I tried those for you my did? art teacher. You did? Yeah, they're good. Wasabi flavor. 219. What kind of flavor you had? Stir fried uh, spicy flavor. Crispy really seaweed. Remember. They were good? Yeah, they had an average taste, but it was good. You didn't see the bag? No. Is that squid? They got baked squid. <laughs> in a bag, in a can. Crispy and fun. I got a handful, I can't pick it up. Pick that up, can you pick that up, Donna? This? Yeah. Let me turn around? Yeah. I wonder how that season, let me see, okay, here's the, in English, let's see. 14 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein. Okay. We're going to come back here and try some of those. All right. Bean snacks, squid shreds. Wow. Okay. Shrimp chips. Turn those around, Diamond. Let me see what those have. Baked shrimp chips. 20 carbs. Mm -hmm. A little carby, y'all. Original flavor and it got hot garlic and wasabi flavored. So now that's spicy. And these are the drinks. Strawberry milk drink. Okay. We're gonna have to come back in here and I'm gonna try those um squid things. <laughs> I try almost anything once. I told you I'm not afraid to try. As long as it's not too outrageous. Here's beef jerky. Fruit beef jerky. Huh. 249. Hot beef jerky. Fruit flavored beef jerky. And this is pork skin, y'all. I know that's always a good snack for me. Mm -hmm. I like kelp chips. You like kale chips? Those are good. We used to make those from homemade. And what are these? Crispy seaweed. That's another seaweed. Okay, we're going to head to the checkout line, and I'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit. Okay, I'm at Live Well Healthy MD on my place where I had my weight loss surgery. Well, I didn't have it here, but this is the clinic I went to for the whole process. So I come here a few times a year to get my vitamins and things like that, my calcium vitamins that I take. So we have a different set of hours for vitamin pickup. So I have like another 10 minutes. I had to wait till 1.30. So I'm just walking through. They have a fitness area over here next door. All the treadmills. I've been on the treadmill for so long. <laughs> I still haven't gotten back into my walking routines. So I feel so bad. But this is the first time I've really taken a break from walking um, in like four years. So everybody deserves a break. <laughs> but I'll get back on track. I'm going to walk in here and hope maybe they'll let me buy a few minutes early. But we'll see. Well, that didn't work out. I have to wait. <laughs> They're very strict about their vitamin purchase time. So I have like seven more minutes to wait. But this is where it all began for me in June 2014. It's empty today. So I could talk, <laughs> but um, I came here and this is where um, my life basically changed. Um, I saw Dr. Glass, he's no longer here. He's in Texas. Uh, he moved to Texas about three years ago. So um, I started coming here. Um, I had my gastric bypass surgery in December, 2014. And I still have to come here periodically to get my calcium. All my other vitamins I take, I can get from the store. But um, the calcium I purchased from here, and it's expensive, it's $36 a bag. But it lasts a couple months. I usually get a couple. Like in the beginning of the year, I get like maybe six bags, five or six bags. And that takes me a few months. So now I got, yeah, I got some in January. And now I'm coming back in June, almost the end of June, to get more. So what I had is just running out. And I still have some left, but when I'm getting two bags a day, so that's $72, that's going to last me maybe two months or so because I take two a day uh, it'll last me a while and by fall maybe by September I'll come back and get some more because I still have a few left at the house 
But I'm waiting to get that and then I'm going to head on to, I don't know. I may stop by Goodwill because I need to go by Kroger, but I don't want to get that to last minute. I pick up my mom, her old house. She's cleaning up some stuff over there. Then I want to stop by Lowe's. So I have a few more stops before the day is through. But as usual, I will check back when. Okay, we're here at the Goodwill in Augusta on Furious Ferry Road. This is my old stomping ground. <laughs> I now go to the one a lot in my job in Aiken, South Carolina. But we're back to my favorite one in Augusta, GA. I've been here in like maybe six months or more. <laughs> so I'm gonna see what they got going on in here today. Well, Goodwill was the bus today, y'all. I haven't been here in a long time and they changed a lot of stuff around, but I didn't really find anything I liked, so. On to my next stop. I'm gonna check on my mom, see if she's ready, because I wanted to head to Kroger and Lowe's in North Augusta, so. <sighs> I'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, I'm at a pit stop, y'all, to the South Carolina DMV. I call myself coming here to get Don and a driver's book because she's gonna be 15 in August, so of course she wants to start learning how to drive, and I just want to start teaching her, get her permit. Them books cost five dollars. She would go online. The lady gave me the slip, and everything's done online. So she's always online anyway on her phone. So she would go on her, her driver's manual will be online on the website, y'all. So I'm gonna tell her right now. <laughs> I told her. <laughs> she said online. Uh huh. Online. See, I'm not paying five dollars for no driver's manual. Do y'all blame me? No. Everything's done online anyway. You always online. Just like you're gonna get on YouTube and um and start learning some hairstyles and how to function with your own hair. There's information you need right there. Toodles. Okay, I finally made it to Lowe's. I'm here looking for some self-stick adhesive backsplash for my kitchen over my stove area. Like I had in my other house. It wasn't, it was like a self stick, but it was just like the cheap little ones from Dollar Tree. And they don't have the design I had before, so now I'm getting some real authentic mosaic. Okay, here's the mosaic tile. This is what I'm looking at right here. My kitchen is sort of a red thing, but I don't want to really go red. I want it to be a, a little more neutral in this case. I like this here. I was just gonna ask you, did you have somebody later? No. You don't? <laughs> I don't. You really? Okay. What you trying to get done? A backsplash? Uh huh, for the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm over there doing now. Oh, you, really? Yeah, where you live? I'm in Belvedere. Well, both, you know the Belvedere border? Yeah, I got family up there. Yeah, okay. A nice gentleman thought I was getting some um, real mosaic tile, which he installs. No, <laughs> I'm not doing all that. I'm looking for peeling stick, and I found he directed me to what I needed. So peel and stick mosaics. I'm getting something like this. I'm still shopping to get the right design, but this one is nice. But I'm gonna keep looking around. There's another one right here. That's a neutral color. But I'm gonna keep um, looking around till I find a design I really want. I really like the one I had at my previous house. And it was a cheaper kind with the red in the back, but I can't find it anymore from where I got it from. So I'm gonna keep looking until I'm absolutely sure it's the type that I want. Then I'll purchase. Okay, y'all, I'm back home. I finally made it. I've had a long day running here and there and to and fro. And I decided to grill some turkey burgers today. You know, I make turkey burgers a lot, but this is the first time that I have grilled turkey burgers and I haven't built grilled in a while um, we did some grilling Sunday and um, the kid, the grand, my grandbabies their other grandma shout out to Sharon and Ralph and the granddad Ralph that came over and started my grill for me because I hadn't grilled in so long to make sure I was doing everything the right way but I don't know why I was just focusing on I apologize y'all but here are my turkey burgers all seasoned um, use some mesquite a dash of lemon pepper garlic powder and onion powder so those are coming along nice about to take them off once here in the back still have a little ways to go 
I'm gonna move some of these over right here. It seems to be where the heat is. Right here, turn this one over this side. But I can't wait to try these grilled turkey burgers because I'm used to doing them in the microwave, not in the microwave, in the air fryer, in the oven, you know, on the stove. I really do them on the stove because I just don't like doing that, mostly in the air fryer. But I think this is going to be my new way in the summertime and fall until it gets cold again on the grill. So that's what we got going. And with that, I'm going to have my plantains that I got from the Asian market today and some onion rings. Let me check on those and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. My Wednesday's winding down, and I have finished my grilled turkey burgers, my fried plantains with sprinkles of brown sugar, and some onion rings. My grandbaby's on the way, and I know Diamond's getting ready to eat. She's wanted to eat. She's been out all day with me. But I'm so excited to taste this. Um, well, this is my cheat. I'm going to, of course, have a turkey burger, which is my protein. I'm going to taste my plantains, y'all. You know, and then I'm going to have an onion ring. Yes, I am today, because I deserve it. It's my day off. All right, everyone, I finished my grilling. I'm ready to wind down. Enjoy what's left of my Wednesday off. Two more work days to go, y'all. You know, those that work Monday through Friday, y'all made it through hump day. I had my hump day off, so I got two more to go. But I want to thank everyone. I'm welcome. Just trying to get back used to the Wednesday blogs. I missed those from last summer. But again, as always, stay safe. I love y'all, and I will see y'all by the weekend. Enjoy what's left of the week. Keep pushing. Keep striving. Bye.